all you beautiful people out there, what is going on? This is your friend Britt coming at you fast with another Call of Duty Ghost video. And yes, this is the final map for my Search and Destroy Sites and Strats series of videos. And I'm sorry it took so long, guys. I think it took about two months to complete a series of about four or five videos. Uh, but I, I just, I don't know. <laughs> Next time I do one of these series, it'll definitely be quicker. I guarantee it. But we are back after a long hiatus. Here's the last one, and in my opinion, I think this map is the hardest map to play. So I will break down a lot, a lot, a lot of strategies for this map. Not so many sites, but a lot of strategies because this map can be played so differently. And the thing that makes it hard for me is because I like to play really quick. I like to, as you can see here, have it SMG, run super quick, and have a really, really quick shot. But this map is, I think, in my opinion, is more slow-paced, more ARs, more sniper rifles, mainly because of the long stretch in the middle where there's no cover. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you guys the rushes to A and B because it is possible to rush on this map. And then uh, the other kind of ways to go about it. So when you pick up the bomb right here, if you have Marathon and Lightweight, you can easily rush over here to B very, very quickly. Now, somewhere by the time you get at this point, there might be a person in the gas station with a sniper rifle looking through this line of sight. Yes, it is possible. I will show you guys later. So what you want to do is you want to sprint this way and then you just want to slide just to make it harder. Make sure you don't get picked. It makes it very difficult for the opponent. And you just want to keep running, 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 right until you get to the bomb, and you want to start planting the bomb like this. Now, if you plant it like this, people that are standing right up there will not be able to see you. If you plant it like this, they can see you somewhat. Now, you must be careful because people up there will be jumping up and down over the wall, checking to see if you're planting it or not. And if you are, they will breach it. Hopefully by that time you'll be able to plan it and get around back here into this motel and watch the motel. Or if you plan it, this is my favorite spot, to go up here and you can actually sit right here and, um, you know, watch, see if anybody comes from there. If you have an SMG at this range though and somebody comes from there, or maybe even there, you want to just duck inside of here. Of course they will know where you are, but then you kind of just want to try to run around and outplay them. Uh, make sure, just... Just waste time. If you're planning the bomb, you don't need the seconds to run down. Just waste time. The reason I like using this one is because a lot of people try to be sneaky, and they try to uh, go through here, go through this window, climb up and come around. So it is possible to uh, shoot them and uh, kill them very, very, very easily if you do so. Uh, because they might not see you right here. So when somebody is planting this bomb, you could also have a person with an assault rifle head glitching this spot right here. This is a pretty good spot. They can actually see you right, right there. Uh, and they can also see if somebody breaches it. So that's a good spot to be as well. And that is the only rush that I can tell you guys with B. That is actually the main way of approaching B in my opinion. Uh, you could also try to get people up here in this window, try to see people. But I would definitely not recommend it because people in the top garage and people in top pond have a definite advantage uh, when when seeing you so you really 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 do have to be careful with this kind of stuff because if you're not you might just get destroyed so if you are challenging top garage however you do want to use this kind of cover not that main window mainly because you could be seen through this big door right here but also because you have two walls of coverage right here if anything happens you can peer behind two walls and you won't get shot with uh, armor piercing rounds or something like that so it's very 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 useful if you do it like that uh, a lot of people might know about this spot I just want to show real quick this jump spot but uh, if you don't you can actually get up on here and of course be sneaky and let do try to do it like that this spot is a very good spot to sit in when cr watching crossovers if you see somebody over on that side and you have an AR you might be able to challenge usually with a sniper rifle that might be a little bit easier this is also a good head glitching spot to shoot people on at pawn and to even shoot. Who the fuck is Lord Sealant? I have no idea who the fuck he is. But uh, shoot a top spawn and all that kind of stuff and everything. So, okay, he's trying to kill me. So, um, alright. Alright, everybody, I am absolutely sorry for that. I forgot to put on my uh, not allowed to uh, join in the middle of a game. But uh, I have no idea who the fuck that was, even. I I, I kind of yelled at them in Japanese or something like that. I don't, I don't fucking know. But let's go to A now. Yeah. Uh, rushing to A. If you start from there, what? Oh, that's because. <laughs> All right. Okay. 
That was our comp <laughs> comedial relief. Now, comedic relief. Now let's rush to A. <laughs> so when rushing to A and you have a marathon lightweight class, usually you will be able to reach the garage before somebody can get up to top pond. But one thing you do really have to notice is that somebody could be down here. So what you want to do is you want to you want to rush. You want to hug this left wall, and you might see somebody there. If you do see somebody there, peer in right here. And then wait a little bit, maybe wait for them to come challenge you, and then challenge them after that. Because if you're right here, then, uh, if you're, I'm sorry, if you're right up against this case, people from Top Pond cannot see you. They will not be able to see you. So, all this shit goes on right about here. But, if there is nobody there, and you notice that there's nobody there, you could keep rushing. Now, what you want to do when you rush, you want to kind of, you know... You want to look a little bit, you want to crouch and look a little bit, because dead silence is not patched, and people can still hear you, and uh, even if you have dead silence on, if they have really good headsets, so you want to crouch at this point, because somebody might be sitting around here. You want to check this, you want to check this, you kind of, you want to check this like that, you don't want to cr climb over like this, because then that will waste time and you might get shot while doing it, you kind of want to side jump into it. Then you want to crouch around here. You want to check back here, actually. A lot of people like to sit back there. Check right up here. There might be a guy up there. Check back here. Uh, and then what? after that, you're going to proceed to check the gas station. Now, there's usually going to be somebody sniping on the gas station. Let me show you the spot right here. Uh, it is actually right here. They can stand all with the sniper rifle, and they can zoom in right there. They can actually shoot you right there. So you want to be very, very careful when that, uh, when you are crossed over to B, like I said earlier. So you want to check that place. You want to check all of gas station, including this little room, because there are some people in this little room at times. And after you check gas station, don't go on to plan. Usually you have two people to come with you at A. One of those people, one of those persons, should go up there and check that place, because there might be a guy sniping from there. And then the other person, after checking all of this stuff, can proceed to plant. When that person is up there, he should gain coverage of the middle lane, so he can see if people are crossing the B or if they're crossing the map or anything. And then the other uh, two people could either just snipe from Humvees, which I will show, or they will uh, just proceed to come with everybody else. Now, while I'm here, quickly, when defending B, like I said, you can jump over this to C real quick. you got to wait a little bit to have a good jump, and you can see him. Uh, and you can also head glitch this to shoot people all over there at the strip club and uh, over there at the Hummers as well. Actually, it's a little bit more difficult for the Hummers, so, but you can, you can do this for the Hummers. You can actually... One second. Oh, I thought you could pick it. Did I be able to get up there? Oh well. But you can still head glitch the Hummers from here. As you can see, you have a nice view f at the Hummers from this spot, so it's very difficult to uh, kill you. So let me tell you where the other two people should be positioned if you're at A. If you're going to B, all four people should come with you. Uh, one guy might want to stay here. This is a really good power position because it's such a dirty head glitch. You could always use it. If you have a sniper rifle, you can snipe people over there. You can snipe people over there. Or you even shoot people from this range up there. Uh, you could kill people there, and you can watch Top Pond, which is the most important part, because everybody always goes up there, Top Pond, this is a very, very, very nasty head glitch, very dirty, if you get all the way back here, people from that, uh, alley, looking down that doorway, from that doorway, will not be able to see you, so you could actually just quietly snipe back here, maybe, even, if you would like, you can snipe through this window, that's even dirtier, that's even dirtier, it's so dirty, you gotta take a shower, like, come on, guys, what the hell? <laughs> but, uh, a lot of people know that you can get up on here. I don't know why this dude's arms just broke or something. A really good spot, actually, to get up on is this bus uh, over here. You can actually get up on this dumpster and then head glitch using this bus. Uh, this is also a pretty, pretty good head glitch. Pretty damn good head glitch. I mean, before we were interrupted, I was just going over how if you sit here, you can see people crossing over if you really need to. This is usually after you plant the bomb when the defensive side needs to become aggressive. So hopefully I explained those two strategies well enough. If you have an AR, you should be either in this building, that building, that building, or that building. But when attacking, these two buildings, in my opinion, are at a disadvantage, especially the strip club, because, you know, it's a wide open area, and it's really easy to shoot you. There's no cover, and this is also a wide open area, so that's kind of difficult. There is a window over there, but if somebody breaks this pawn 
place, which usually it shouldn't happen, but it might, you never know, then everything is really, really awful for you if you are in those buildings. But if you are defending, you do want to have one guy up here in the top pond, right up there. You want to have one guy up in the garage. You want to have one person pushing up towards the bus. And you want to have one person right here uh, watching this garage area and, uh, you know, making sure that nobody crosses. That way, when you're on a 4-on-4 four four S&D, you have a very, very, very good chance of locking it down. Just make sure you win those gunfights. That's the most important thing. What I mean by rushing out to the bu uh, bus... Um, is what is you when you start off, you rush over here, you go this way. I mean, like, like I said, marathon and lightweight could easily win you games because you get to the better positions before the other people. When you rush out like this, by the time you rush out right here, if the people are rushing as well, then they will be somewhere right about, I want to say, right behind that motel at that area. So you just rush, keep rushing, keep rushing, keep rushing this way. If anybody is over here, make sure to either, you know, uh, jump shot them or drop shot them, whatever, win the gunfight. If there's nobody in here, then what you want to do is you want to sneak in over here, over yonder. And you want to just stay like this and watch if anybody crosses over, if anybody comes in here. If you're right here, notice how I was looking at the window as I was backing away. The window is not visible at that point. Therefore, people cannot see you from that window, which is very, very good. If you do kill somebody up here, or in this area, in this bus area, for whatever reason, I recommend turning back around, jumping up on these boxes, and sticking around in top motel. And this will really, really, really be beneficial. You can actually stay right here to guard against the spot where people uh, like to go. But then again, it is difficult because you can also get shot from behind there. So just kind of rotate. Never really stand too still in these buildings. You kind of just want to move around. Crouch. Don't sprint. You want to crouch around these buildings so you don't get sound horde. And then just check, you know, check all these places. Try to get through the enemy. That's a very aggressive defensive play. That's why you always ha want to have the three back there, and then you want to have one pushing up, mainly as a scout, but also just to get enough kills to uh, secure that win. Now, this is actually going to be the longest one, the longest uh, breakdown of this map, mainly because uh, I need to show you guys some more spots than usual, which is should be a good team, or a good thing, right? One second, we will... Uh, it will end the round right about here or at least it should but uh that's that's pretty much it for defense guys that's what you want to do is you want to stay up in those buildings the the biggest thing about this map is the buildings it is truly 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 uh blah, 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 blah. it is truly 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 all about the buildings all about it there we go there and ended. perfect it is truly all about the buildings you have to get a lot of cover you have to never, ever, ever run down the middle of the map unless, you know, you're doing it on the outskirts, kind of. And this is the class I kind of wanted to show you guys. So, uh, this class is an overkill class, as you can see here. And it is uh, an MTAR with a USR and armor piercing. The perks are ready up, marathon, dead silence, focus, and overkill. And then the specialist, I'm not really going to go into the, too much of that. Now, uh, the reason why this class is pretty important is because it has, one, it has marathon on it, and two, it has a sniper rifle on it. And uh, a lot of people like to use the Remington with the sniper rifle. My opinion is you have a close-range weapon, you have a long-range weapon. Why do you need something in between when usually you play the extremes on this map specifically? You're either really close in the mot motel or the gas station, uh, or the pawn shop, or you're really far away sniping from here. So you can actually see that spot where people would stand up right here with a sniper rifle. Would you challenge this? Most likely not. You probably shouldn't challenge this, but you can if you feel like you can get that pick, or if you feel like those people like to go there. If you get picked by a person like that, then you can come back over there. I just want to show you guys some sniper, uh, some uh, ranges of sniper, blah, 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 lines of sights with sniper rifles. There we go. Because uh, this map is very sniper rifle heavy. I do recommend using a sniper rifle because it would be very, very, very easy to pick people off if you have a sniper rifle. Because, let's face it, there's a lot of head glitches on this map. There's a lot of dirty, dirty spots. And if you have a sniper, you can easily pick them off of that head glitch if your aim allows you to. Now... What the main thing you want to remember with a sniper is that you are exposed when looking through the scope. So make sure you yourself find a good... Oh, chili covered wieners. Make sure you find yourself a very good head glitch as well to shoot from because you do not want to get sniped back. 
usually either every member of the team is sniping or three-fourths of the other team is sniping. And then you just want to have this MTAR just when you're in close quarter situations so you can uh, shoot people very quickly and then you don't die by them as well. So, I hope this video has been helpful, guys. It has been a little weird because, you know, with all the interruptions and stuff like that, and that is really expensive gas in my opinion. But hopefully it's been informative enough. Hopefully you guys learned something, a, a thing or two. Uh, like I said, you just want to get up on the buildings as much as possible. Uh, that's going to get away. Another thing that some people might not know is that you can actually jump into Motel uh, through this way. Or not through this way, my bad. You can. You just have to time it right. But, uh, blah, 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 blah. Probably has to do with this or something. I forget. I forget. I'm, I'm going to be honest, guys. I haven't used this in a while. But I know that you can jump from there, from here somewhere. But I think you might need lightweight for it. I'm not exactly sure, guys. I'm, I know that's a spot. But anyways, everything else should have been clear enough. If it isn't, then please let me know. Uh, if I miss something, please let me know. That would be interesting as well. And uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. So like I said, if you thought this was helpful, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. As always, guys, have a wonderful day.